uh, Engine 4 in Tacoma. Uh, the Tacoma citizen speaking after me is Mr. Barnes. I'd like to take a good look at him uh, because of the plan that you guys have in, in store for closing stations was implemented just five weeks ago. He's dead. In fact, Mr. Barnes was dead when my crew and crews from Medic 1 and Engine 13 responded to his home. We used our new high-performance CPR, which requires seven to eight people to perform adequately. And obviously, Mr. Barnes is going to be speaking to you. We did our job. Mr. Barnes would have stayed dead on October 29th under these cuts. Why? Because Engine 9 and Ladder 3 at Station 9 were both out on other runs. They were two blocks from his house. Okay? That means the next closest rig gets sent. That happens to be Engine 4 and Engine 13. Fortunately, we got there in time. Under the cut, both of those engines are gone. That means that we go to the next engine, ladder, or, uh, Engine 1, which is uh, stationed downtown. Unfortunately, that engine was on another call. And these are real statistics. This actually happened. Um, they're on another call. That means we need to go to the next engine, which is engine 16, over twice the distance that engine 4 was from Mr. Barnes' house. Two to five minutes more time for that engine to get to him. <coughs> Chances are Mr. Barnes either has uh, extreme um, uh, mental problems because of lack of oxygen, or more than likely, Mr. Barnes will not survive at all and will not be resuscitated. Um, closing any station in the sim city will have a similar effect on response times and therefore put our citizens at risk. Mr. Barnes' death would have left a um, 17-year-old daughter without a father and his wife of 33 years without a husband. I'm asking the city council to protect the citizens they were elected to serve. Mr. Barnes' case points out this, the fact that this isn't a game. Real citizens and the city itself will pay the price if you get the Tacoma Fire Department and the rest of our public services. Thank you.